Hello, today we're going to learn about the 100 square. What is a 100 square? Well, a 100 square is a square with 100 boxes and each box represents one number. This is what a 100 square looks like. It starts at number one and goes all the way down to 100. There are 10 columns that go down and 10 rows that go across. 100 squares are extremely beneficial when you're doing addition and subtraction. If I move one place to the right, I'm moving up a unit. And if I move one place to the left, I'm moving down a unit or I'm subtracting. So let's take a look. Let's take 45. If I move to the right one place, I'm 46. I'm adding one unit. If I move one place to the left, 44, I'm subtracting a unit. What if I move up a row to 35? I'm subtracting 10 units. Let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 45 take away 10 is 35. And that's just by jumping up a row. If I move down a row just below 45, I'm adding 10 units. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 45 plus 10 is 55. It's just below. Addition using the 100 square. So just to recap, addition using a 100 square, if you move to the right, the number gets larger by one, you're adding one. And if you move down a row, the number gets larger by 10. How to add tens in units using a 100 square. I have two equations here. Let's look at the first one, 35 plus 24. So let's go to 35 on our 100 square. And we're adding 24. Now, if we look at 24, we split it into tens and units. So there are two tens and four units. We know that by moving down a row, we add 10. And there are two tens, so we must move down two rows. So 35, 45, 55. So we've added two tens. Now there are four units. So 55 plus four units, one, two, three, is 59. 35 plus 24 is 59. Let's look at the second equation. 62 plus 18. So we go to 62. Now we look at the 18 and we split it into tens and units. We know that there is one ten and eight units. If we move down one row we've added 10. So 62 just below it is 72. So that's our 10. And now we must add eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 62 and 18 is 80. Subtraction using a hundred square. So just to remind you again, subtraction using a hundred square. If we move to the left, the number gets smaller by one. And if we move up a row, the number gets smaller by 10. So let's look at subtraction using the 100 square. There are a couple of equations here and I'll show you how to subtract using the 100 square. The first one is 77 minus 20. So if we look at 77, we click it here, and 20, let's break 20 down into tens and units. There are two tens and no units. We know that moving up a row, we are subtracting 10. So there are two tens, so we need to move up two rows. One, two, and we get to 57. There are no units, so we found our answer. So 77 minus 20 is 57. Looking at the next equation, 88 minus 33. So let's break 33 into tens and units. There are three tens, and three units. Again, we know that moving up a row, we are subtracting 10. There are three tens, so we need to move up three rows. One, 
two, three. We get 58. Then we look at our units. There are three units, so we need to move to the left three spaces. One, two, three. So 88 minus 33 is 55. Pattern in the 100 square. There is lots of patterns to be seen in the 100 square and this will really aid you when you're learning your multiplication tables. If we look at counting in tens or your, your 10 times tables, all along the last column on your 100 square is your 10 times tables. So 10, 20, 30 and so on. And in counting in twos or your two times tables, every second column is highlighted. So two, four, six, eight, ten, giving a lovely stripey pattern. Again, in your five times tables. So five, 10, 15, 20, you can clearly see a pattern there, there also. Your three times tables, or counting in threes, shows a lovely diagonal pattern. Three, six, nine, 12. And this is really beneficial when you're trying to remember the times tables. It's a super way of learning them. So just to recap, what is a hundred square? A hundred square is a square with every number from one to a hundred. It is a great way to learn about numbers and their relationship with each other from times tables to place value. Thank you for listening. Bye.